Today we will take a look at the best photo editing laptops for photographers for this year. If you want to find more information check out links down below. Five Asus ZenBook Duo 14 UX 482. Not much has changed since the 2020 model, but that's not a bad thing when it comes to the ZenBook Duo. To put it simply, this laptop is a sight to behold. Details are crisp and colors are bright on this 14-inch 1080p display, which has been Pantone validated for color accuracy. Even better, Tubri Inland certified the panel for its low blue light and flicker-free technology. This makes for a display great to look at with very minimal eye strain over long periods of time. Creative work using Photoshop remains color accurate to a professional grade and you get responsive touch control along with ultra slim bezels for a 93% screen to body ratio. The Harman Kardon speakers in the ZenBook Duo provide impressive clarity and a decent bit of bass to add to this laptop's entertainment credentials. You can purchase different configurations with as little as 8GB RAM and a 512GB SSD. This base setup is the one we benchmarked and it hit a Geekbench 5.3 score of 1528 single core and 5330 multi core. The picture quality of this 720p webcam leaves a lot to be desired. Even in a well-lit space such as my spare room, photos are fuzzy and lacking enough detail to be good for anything other than the occasional zoom call. Pictures are either very grainy or soft. 4. Apple MacBook Air 13-inch M1 The MacBook Air now has the speed and battery life to beat the best PCs. Our test MacBook Air has the 8-core GPU configuration, which could reshape the Mac in the minds of some gamers. I started it off easy, running Bioshock 2 Remastered and that game played smoothly, as rippling water flowed through the rooms I navigated, electroshocks hit enemies and all the underwater life outside the hallways I explored moved without a glitch. Testing out the MacBook Air's magic keyboard on the 10 fast fingers typing test, I clicked my way to 74 words per minute, not far from my 80 WPM average. As was the case with the early 2020 MacBook Air, this keyboard was the upgrade Apple needed, after its two shallow butterfly switch keys proved controversial, with many arguing they were prone to sticking when small detritus or dust got into the keys. 3. Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 9 The ThinkPad's biggest update from the X1 Carbon Gen 8 is the new 1610 display, a feature Lenovo has been adding to X-series ThinkPads across the line. It affords noticeably more vertical screen space than you'll see from the 16, 9 Carbon Gen 8, which means less scrolling and less zooming out while multitasking. Aspect ratio aside, the screen on this device is quite good. It has a 1920x1200 resolution and comes with a new technology that's supposed to reduce blue light exposure. My unit was slightly dim for the category, maxing out at 297 nits, it's rated for 400, but the matte texture meant I still saw very little glare in bright indoor settings and could work comfortably. The display delivered a good picture with vivid colors, high contrast, and sharp details. The ThinkPad's battery, while running my dozen tab plus workload with frequent YouTube and Spotify in the background around 200 nits of brightness varied a bit based on settings. I consistently got over 10 hours of juice when I was on the battery saver profile and had Intel's battery saving features on, but I could see as low as 5 with a more powerful performance profile. I saw an overall average of 8 hours and 43 minutes, which is respectable, better than the XPS 15, where I only averaged around 6 hours, but worse than the XPS 13, where I averaged over 9. 3. 2. Dell XPS 15 With a laptop this good, there's plenty of reason to keep things mostly as they are, especially design-wise. Dell's premium XPS models have always looked better than your average Windows laptops, but now that they all feature the same styling cues, there are few machines more likely to catch your eye, in our opinion. The base configuration combines an 11th generation, 6-core Intel Core i5-114000H processor with 8GB of memory and a 256GB solid-state drive. Those are reasonable specs for the starting price. The XPS 15 offers excellent battery life, lasting for more than 11 hours in our video rundown test. That's not class-leading, but it's pretty close. Our test. 
which involves playing a locally stored 720p video file at 50% screen brightness and 100% volume with Wi-Fi turned off, is relatively forgiving. I never saw more than 10 hours of real-world work, but I consistently had enough battery power for a full day of word processing, occasional video conferencing, and other office tasks. 1. MacBook Pro M1 16-inch, 2021 The new MacBook Pro is a bit of a throwback. With this notebook, Apple has ditched its obsession with slender chassis in favor of more functionality, more ports and more power. It's not huge, but it's designed with functionality in mind, not just looks. In an interesting design decision, the top corners of the screen are rounded, while the bottom corners are squared off. Touch ID is on the power button. Speaker grills flank each side of the keyboard, and the mammoth touchpad is below it, right where you would expect it. The M1 Max stunned on our battery test. The laptop proved how efficiently it could manage power when it lasted for 15 hours and 31 minutes. Test has laptops connected to Wi-Fi with the displays set at 150 nits of brightness while they browse the web.